It's going to be a position to engage a little bit of my rotator cuff in an isometric posture. So I have a TheraBand. I'm going to take the end of the TheraBand and I'm going to tie a couple knots in it just so I can get it to stick in my door. So maybe two or three easy knots on the end of the band. And then I'm going to take this and I'm just going to lay it over top of the doorknob on the other side. Then I'm going to close the door. And now that knot's going to catch in the door, right? So if I'm doing this with my left arm, ideally I like to have something underneath it, whether that's a small towel roll, this little pillow, just something to give me a little space between my elbow and my trunk. And I'm going to take the band and I'm going to wrap it around my hand, okay? Now starting off here, it's going to be useful to see, as I do this with my right hand, I want to try and make sure this shoulder isn't creeping up and forward. So when I go to initiate this, I'll start with slack on the band. And I want to think about my elbow very lightly pushing into this pad. And I want to think about squeezing into my armpit. So I feel like I'm tensing a little bit of this back corner of my shoulder. This shoulder, looking at me from the side, is pulling a little bit down and back. So there's no pressure or tension up here. And I'm very lightly kind of pinching my elbow in towards my side. So I start off with that. And you'll see reflexively my hand kind of wants to come out to the side a little bit. So I lightly pinch in. I try and maintain this position of a 90 degree angle at my elbow and shoulder down as I slowly step away into the tension of the band. So now I'm creating an isometric contraction against this resistance. Maybe pause for three to five seconds and then slowly step back in. I can take the tension away in between and kind of reset. That's probably what I would do at first to make sure that I keep the right technique. So once again, I kind of make sure I pull that shoulder down and back. I have that elbow bent to 90 degrees. And if I can, I try and have my forearm just beyond straight, right? But for most patients that they have any shoulder pain, I kind of let them put their arm wherever is most comfortable. And then once again, I step out to the side to where I have a fair amount of tension, but I can maintain my position. Pause for three to five seconds and then back in. Now, the first time I do it, if I stay in that tension and my arm's starting to get tired, I may start to shrug up here. So first time around, I come in and I take a break in between, but as I get better at it, I may never come to where that band has slack in it. Fair amount of tension, I'm still maintaining good shoulder position. Ideally, I'm gonna feel this somewhere in the lower back of my shoulder, not really feeling it on the top. Uh, just so you can see it from the front. So now I got it in my left hand. Okay. Same thing, I kind of set myself up in a good position. Uh, elbow pinching in, I'm sucking the shoulder down. I keep my elbow bent around 90 degrees. I don't want to let it start to slide down, so I do like 90 degrees or a little more. And then once again, a slow controlled step out, trying to maintain that control, and then back in slowly, right? Same thing can be done for internal rotation. So same concept, now the band's pulling the other way. So once again, I get that very same position and I step away. Now I'm creating a little bit more tension on muscles that pull my arm in towards my belly. Same thing, a progression in an isometric fashion to hold against the resistance and then step back in slowly. 